y'all. It look like the cicadas are emerging. Look at this video. Look at this, y'all. This is my gazebo. Where I like to enjoy they here. my time. And these are the cicadas that have taken over my life. They everything. literally all over. I hate them. Can't even sit down where she want to sit down them. at. I'm These are going to be all over, y'all. Here go a second video from the same person, Sarah. Shout out to Sarah for recording this. They are here. The cicadas are here, y'all. Can't even chill where you want to chill at. They done took the spot. I'll be back in five minutes. Ooh. And the thing about this is you can try to kill all these cicadas right here. But I bet you five, 10 minutes later, 20 minutes later, they're going to be right back multiplied. This is so nasty. And this is going to be everywhere. Just about trillions, trillions of cicadas. This is nasty. This is disgusting. Have y'all seen any cicadas near y'all? I hope not. And they ain't been around me just yet. And I hope they don't come around me. Let me know what y'all think about this video in the comments. This is absolutely disgusting. Can't even chill where you want to chill at. Ugh. Something to look forward to. Possibly hundreds of millions of cicadas <laughs> will invade parts of the U.S. next month. Yeah, so uh, that's when the 13-year periodical brood makes its appearance. And you could see some around here. Well, something interesting about these insects is that they can carry a sexually transmitted fungus. It can affect as much as 10% of the population. You can tell if cicadas have this fungus because its abdomen will be missing and they become what's known as zombie cicadas. It has them become uh, hypersexually active. Uh, and so the males will want to still, even though they do not have reproductive organs anymore because the fungus has eaten them out, they will try to mate with females more aggressively passing on the fungus. I bet you want to know that. Fungus uh, does not transfer, though, to other species. You may have heard or seen reports of an invasion of sorts happening in Nevada. Makes my skin crawl just looking at this. Turns out it is true. Yeah, now we're not talking about aliens here, but a bad Mormon cricket infestation covering towns like Elko. It's got residents on edge, and there's really not much they can do. No, Liga Graves in Elko to show us how bad it is and what can be done about it. Some places in Elko are worse than others, and these insects travel, so what's bad today may not be as bad tomorrow. Right now, we're in front of one house covered with Mormon crickets. Residents around town say they've been dealing with these for weeks, and they are tired of it. It is a creepy, crawly, nasty, disturbing sight. It's bugging me. Oh, it's bugging me. Parts of Elko are covered in swarming and migrating Mormon crickets. They're on the roads. You can see that they're moving and crawling and the whole road's crawling and it just makes your skin crawl. It's just so gross. And they cover some homes. When we looked out here, it, the whole wall was just covered. That really, really, really freaked me out. Colette Reynolds has been dealing with them for a few days. It causes depression, anxiety. You feel super violated. You, when you're inside the house, it sounds like it's raining because they just randomly let go of wherever they're hanging onto and drop. These swarms happen a lot, but they get noticed in a populated area, according to Jeff Knight, the Nevada state entomologist. We've moved more and more into the native habitat where these crickets normally occur. He says it's not entirely known why they swarm and migrate, and there are limited options for people to keep them at bay. There is a pesticide route if they want to go that route. There's a route of tolerate it and they probably will move through. There are also cricket fences, which they can't climb. Colette is trying to tolerate for now, hoping they disappear quickly. Some people say they'll move through three or five days, but for some reason they're really sticking around our house. I'm not sure why. We can, of course, get Mormon cricket infestations in Utah. We've had bad swarms before, but right now we're seeing most of these swarms in Nevada, Idaho, and parts of Southeast Oregon. In Elko, Lincoln Graves, KUTV, 2 News.
A surprising invasion of mosquitoes has occurred in the metropolitan area of Buenos Aires in Argentina, and many even mention that they seem to form large clouds in the air. According to researcher Maximiliano Garcon, from the Mosquito Study Group of the Faculty of Exact and Natural Sciences of the University of Buenos Aires, he mentions that it would be a flooding mosquito of the species Aedes albifasciatus, after a rainy season, and just as it happens throughout the metropolitan area, the city of La Plata is no stranger to these events. This happened during this past weekend and it is believed that it could last up to 10 days. For this reason, the municipality of La Plata has intensified and extended preventive actions in public areas, such as, for example, daily spraying in strategic areas of the different neighborhoods, as well as the awareness of the inhabitants themselves to use repellents or eliminate accumulated rainwater deposits. The authorities clarify that this species of mosquito is not the one that transmits dengue fever, so there is no need to worry about it. Let's wait to see how this news develops, and always remember to take the necessary precautions. As always, I will be informing you of any news.